What is going on, folks? It's your boy Luke here, or RM All Star 100, coming at you with a brand new LEGO Star Wars alternate build video. Today, we're taking a look at my alternate build for set 75266, the Sith Trooper Battle Pack. This set came out in January 2020 as part of the Rise of Skywalker wave. It retails for 15 US dollars, includes 105 pieces and 4 minifigures, those being a Final Order Officer, two Sith Jet Troopers, and finally, I think the highlight of the set, one very sharp looking Sith Trooper. Overall, I think this is a dope little battle pack. The build itself is actually really fun to make, and it's honestly a pretty cool looking ship compared to some of the other things we see in battle packs. I was quite impressed after building it. Now, it's not the best set for army building, seeing as we get three different kinds of figures, but it's still a very solid selection nonetheless. The Final Order Officer has a really cool design. I think the printing on this figure is so simple, but that slight red detailing gives it such a sleek look. Now moving on, we got two red Sith Jet Troopers that I'm not really the biggest fan of. I think the helmet molds are a little goofy, even though I know they're accurate to the film. I think I would have preferred two Sith Troopers instead of two of these guys, but that's okay. The detailed printing and the red coloring still makes for a really solid figure. I don't know, something about that rich red color in these figures is just so appealing. And finally, undoubtedly the best figure in the set, we have the Sith Trooper. Just look at this dude, he's so clean looking, great detailing, great color, great figure, made better, that like the only other set that you can get this guy in is the $130 Kylo Ren's Command Shuttle. Which is an awesome set by the way. But yeah, a really cheap way to get a really cool figure and one that's pretty hard to find. Now like I said, I am definitely a fan of this set. The figs are solid, the build is really fun, and a lot better than I expected. And I'll likely end up picking up a few more of these when I get the chance or I see them on sale. Just for those Sith Troopers, but after all that, I still decided to go ahead and make this. Boom, the Final Order Light Walker. This ground unit is a great way to transport small number of troopers around the battlefield quickly, and a great way to spice up any mock or battle scene featuring the Final Order army. This walker can run at high speeds and pr propel jet troopers off its tail with this hinged feature. I drew inspiration from the sand bike thing and the Pasana Speeder Chase set, and how they function in the movie catapulting the jet troopers off the back like that. Now let's jump in, take a closer look. Alright folks, and a quick little overview of the build here. Nothing too crazy. I should start off by saying that this isn't exactly the most sturdy build I've ever made. There are a few weak points here where the legs connect, so just be careful with that. There are many ways to mod this build and improve stability by using different pieces in your collection that aren't included in the set. I just use these alternate builds as a way to share different creative ways and ideas on how to use the pieces in the set to make something new, because it's a fun challenge. Alright, and I had to get a little creative when making the legs and feet here, because there weren't a whole lot of hinged pieces included in the set to articulate well. So taking a look at the bottom here, we got the feet. I decided to go with the snot technique, or studs not on top, for you LEGO amateurs out there, as well as I added a little detail there on both legs to give it a nice symmetrical look and a couple cannons on the side there for some added firepower. This little build right here, decided to throw that on there just to give the front a nice clean rounded look. And moving up top, we got the main firepower, those two mounted stud shooters right there. I decided to angle them in like that because I really do like the way that looks, but of course that's up to you to decide. And up top we got our little windshield to cover our final order officer as he's piloting the walker with those cheese slopes taking a look in there we got a little spot for him to sit in and pilot and around back we got a nice plate here to mount a couple jet troopers have them chill there for a bit before they get launched into battle finally the last touch of detail back here i threw on those two trans blue cylindrical pieces just because i like the way it looks and finally we got a nice little gray fin up top so, yeah, not a whole lot to show off here, but I am still very happy with how it came out. I did want to mention that I used some of the leftover pieces to make a new blaster for the Sith Trooper, so he has something to bring into battle. I gotta say, I do think that looks pretty dope. Alright, and one last look at that main hinged feature. So, as you can see back here, how I mounted the top there to the legs using that 1x4 plate. So yeah, hold that down and you can freely swing the top back and forth just like that to launch your jet troopers straight into the battlefield. 
And here's one look at the extra pieces not used in the build. All right, and yeah, that just about does it. I am very pleased with the way this turned out. I was really glad that I was able to include that catapult feature as it fits in with the Star Wars canon. And that's something we kind of missed out on in that speeder bike thing on the Pisana speeder chase set. But, all right. Thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed my alternate build, make sure to drop a like on the video and comment what you think of my build and some other sets you would like to see me make alternate builds of in the future. I'll probably do one for the Mandalorian Battle Pack once I get my hands on that, so let me know if you want to see that and any other sets as well. And of course, if you are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button right now for some more awesome LEGO related content. Seriously, thank you so much for your time. It means a lot. And if you're taking off before the tutorial here, as always, have a great day. We'll see you next time. Peace.